Hey guys, welcome back to Raw Intuition. Today I am just getting ready to leave Colorado. I have been here for about a week visiting my brother and I wanted to make a quick video on how to naturally prevent sunburn. So we were at a hot spring last night and I overheard some uh, people talking about uh, the sunscreen killing the coral reefs uh, in some part of the world. So it made me think about some natural ways that people can protect their skin from sunburn. And I personally, this trip, uh, I did get a little burnt. I got a little uh, overconfident with my uh, fruitarian slash raw food uh, body. Uh, sometimes I think I can be out in the sun a little longer than I really can. So I, I did get a little burnt. Um, so I'll, I'll get to that in my fifth tip. So let's get going here. We'll start off with tip number one, and that is to eat plenty of bright and dark pigmented foods. So these are gonna be like your berries, uh, your fruits, your vegetables, your dark leafy greens. Uh, these all have phytochemicals in them. The plant produces them to protect themselves from the sun and the UV rays. And when we consume them, we actually utilize those benefits in our own body. So you might notice somebody that eats a lot of carrots, they start to maybe turn a little orange. So they're, they're really uh, storing a lot of that uh, excess chemical that is in those orange carrots and, and it's putting it in their skin. So you don't wanna necessarily just eat a ton of carrots or drink a lot of carrot juice, but you wanna get a good variety of different colored pigments so that you have as many you know pigments and as many phytochemicals in your body and in your skin as possible so that you will have that benefit of reducing the effects of those UV rays from the Sun which we need so don't think that the Sun is the bad guy uh, the Sun is there for our benefit and we need the Sun we need direct sunlight on bare skin so eat a lot of pigments and that should help you out a lot. All right, my second tip is to stay hydrated. So when your skin is hydrated, it's going to be much more able to uh, repair itself and again, to deal with the effects of being out in the sun. Um, again, that goes back to eating more fresh, raw fruits and vegetables. So that's where we're gonna get the most perfect structured water that we can find uh, through fruits and vegetables. And personally, I don't drink a whole lot of just plain water. I get most of my hydration from raw fruits and vegetables. So um, as many raw fruits and vegetables as you can get in, uh, the better you're gonna be hydrated and the better you're going to have, all your body functions are gonna work better when they are properly hydrated. So tip number three is to avoid trans fats, uh, saturated fats, col dietary cholesterol, things like that that are gonna clog up our bodies. And when you eat animal products, you're getting these fats and clearly you're probably cooking your animal products. And when you cook fats, they rancidify and they are very hard for the body to break down, to absorb and to utilize. So when you have rancid fats that have been used in your body, um, that is much easier to oxidize. So this, when the sun hits your skin, and typically when when you're in the direct sunlight your body will start to produce vitamin d with cholesterol and using the whatever reaction is created from those uv rays um, but if it's oxidized fats in your skin in your skin cells then it's going to create free radicals and that leads to you know inflammation and other uh, age related conditions so do your best to avoid rancid oxidized fats 
get your fats from fresh fruits and vegetables and nuts and seeds avocados things like that um, and don't cook them because that makes them very hard to break down and that makes them uh, oxidized and rancid tip number four is to not wear sunglasses so it, when you wear sunglasses you are basically tricking your body into thinking that it is not out in the sunlight so your body when it takes in the full spectrum of uv rays um, it produces hormones and other chemicals that help your body to interact with the environment that it's in so it's going to produce more chemicals that are going to help you um, reduce the impact of those uv rays and when you're in the sunglasses your body doesn't realize that so it's not going to be producing those chemicals so you can burn faster you can burn easier and especially if you're drinking alcohol uh, alcohol creates your body to burn faster as well so avoid sunglasses and avoid alcohol and my fifth tip is to obviously this is the one that i struggle with the most um, just be smart about your sun exposure what time you're out there how long you've been out there so that when you've had an appropriate amount of sunshine you know to either put some clothes on or you know to get into some shade or to just go indoors uh, you don't want to be out overexposed to the sun um, you can get too much sun obviously you don't want to burn so just be smart about it and go inside or get in some shade or put on some clothes um, when you realize that you have had enough sun all right, so typically 15 to 30 minutes, they say, is really all you need. Um, you know, I typically like to have a couple hours, but that's not necessarily just in like noontime sun. It's just at some, you know, I want to be outdoors as much as possible. It doesn't have to be directly in the sunlight all the time, but, you know, I think that it's good to be out. So those are my five tips on how to naturally avoid sunburn uh, i hope you enjoyed it i hope you found some of this helpful and if you have any questions feel free to leave them down below and until next time guys always follow your raw intuition detoxify your mind and body be the change you want to see small steps towards living better steps to where I want to be.